All right, I got the machine here. I need to clean up the tines. They're dirty. Always clean up your tines before you uh, start aerating. You never know where they've been. So it could potentially put some weeds in your lawn if you don't clean these tines up. Actually, matter of fact, I do see sedge right there. And that's from uh, someone else's yard right there. So yeah, make sure you clean your tines. But after that, once we get this cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. FYI, this is a bit of a different machine from last year. This is the Class and TA-18. Uh, last year I was using the Ryan, I believe 19 inch. I think the only difference is uh, you don't have a front roller like the Ryan does, which makes the turns much easier. This one will probably be a bit harder to turn, but uh, we'll, f we'll find out and see. All right, this is about as clean as I can get it. I was trying to get some of these uh, grass part, uh, whatever this crap is, I couldn't get it off. But for the most part, I got all the mud and all that stuff off the tines. So let's just hope this doesn't uh, mess up my lawn and put weeds in it. Um, I'm gonna go in crisscross pattern. I'm not gonna do that circular pattern, so I'm gonna go up and down and I'll be going perpendicular. So let's go ahead and get it started, guys. the top I may try to pick up the cores later uh, the grounds really wet right now so the tires have actually made some tracks right here check that out yeah that's the unfortunate part is that it's uh, the grounds a little too wet so I may rake up the cores later uh, let's just let it dry out air out and then uh, we'll see but I'm gonna go on to the next section of the lawn now
uh, core editing done on this side. This was probably the uh, hardest side because over there is like super muddy. So the machine was actually getting stuck. And uh, yeah, I don't really think I like the class of machine just because of the four tires, four wheels that we have. Um, it creates tracks on the lawn and then the lawn's like wet because we got so much rain uh, this past week and last week. So it messes up stuff. Uh, I'm hoping that I can take care of the track marks uh, once I top, top dress with sand. But um, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, that's my biggest concern now is that I kind of messed up the lawn with the, the tire marks and all that. But yep, there you go. I went uh, perpendicular, I went across, and I went up and down just like how you're supposed to do it. Project Aeration 2024 complete. This time I'm picking up the cores. I'm putting up the cores over here on this side of the yard. It's pretty wet on this side, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do it. I may not do it at all. I don't know if there's really a benefit. The cores are really soft, so they break up really easily. Um, and I did it on this side. So yeah, you can't really see the holes as much anymore, but they're there. We'll see a few right here. I'm gonna return the machine back to Home Depot and uh, I'm gonna lay down my 14714, the whole bag. Let me show you some of the cores here. I think Carbon Pro G is definitely, well, not probably not this one. This one still has a little bit of clay content in here. But the soil used to be like white brown and now I'm getting like darker cores so it tells me that um, I probably have a lot of that uh, biochar compost composition in, in the soil now which is pretty good that's good news for me um, it means the soil is getting healthy definitely healthier than before that's for sure here you can see some of the uh, some of the pieces are still there's a rock right here some of the pieces are still kind of uh, light brownish, so it's more clayish. It's basically uh, how it used to be. So I got 20 bags of carbonized PN right here, and then got my sand. This will probably not get to, I'll probably not get to this on uh, today, it'll be tomorrow. Um, the goal is, the end goal today is to get all this down uh, by the end of the day. So I'm gonna change up my order a little bit. Um, instead of spraying Turf Flex Nutrizolve, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay RGS and um, Humic 12. And then uh, I'm going to lay down the fungicide Pillar SC with the backpack sprayer. And then I'm going to water that in with Hydratane. And then I'm going to give it a few hours to let the ground dry up. And after that, we'll spread out the carbonized PN around the lawn. And then uh, that, should be, that should be it for the rest of the, uh, for the, rest of the day. Matter of fact, uh, after our carbonized PN, I will actually uh, lay down uh, Turf Flex and Nutrizolve. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and wait to spray that at the end because I want that to dry up a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, top dress it with sand the next day. So that's pretty much the end go. I think we're not forecasted for rain anymore for tomorrow, so I should be good to go. And uh, we'll see, we'll go from there. But uh, that 20 bags of carbonized PN, it's a pretty bit heavy, so I should be able to uh, We'll see how it goes because I may be very tired. My arms are super tired right now. Like the triceps are sore from yesterday using the aerator machine. Let me show you guys a little bit how the holes are looking. It's still pretty damp over here. I think when I'm raking, I'm not going to be raking the, uh, the cores obviously because I did that uh, on the center lawn. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a hassle. It's a, it's a pain to do. Let me show you how it looks here in the center. You can see some of the holes right here. One thing about the raking is uh, it may be covering up the holes because you know when they break up and stuff, the little dirts, like for example right here. So you don't really see as many holes as before. So maybe, looks like I got a dog that doo-doo right here. Got to clean that up. But, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Everything's laid down now except for the Turflex and Nutrizolve. Got down 14, 7, 14 last night. Watered that in with RGS and Humic 12. Um, I keep wanting to call it Propoconazole, but it's called Pillar SC. Pillar SC is down now. And then I watered that in with uh, uh, Hydratane. So we're good. Uh, sun's been out. It's been kind of, it's been kind of weird. The uh, sun's been out, and then it gets cloudy. And then sun's out again. So as of right now, the sun's out. So we're drying up a bit, which is a good thing. This side's a little still damp because uh, of the shade and all that. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, go ahead and start top dressing. I'll lay out my carbonized PN here. Calculated how much we need. So I got a total of 20 bags over 6,000 square foot. That's equals to 6.66667 something whatever bags that needs to be laid here in this 2,000 square foot section. We've got 2,400 square foot over here. Roughly around 8 bags will be needed here. It's like 7.9999. We'll put 8 bags over here. Uh, 0.6. We need about 1.9999. That's going to be 2 bags. So it'll be 2 bags over here. Uh, I'll round this up. I'll do 7 bags here. Eight bags over there, and whatever is left, I'll put over here. I may, I may just do two bags on here. I may add the third bag on this side. So we'll we'll see. We'll figure it out. But overall, uh, goal is to get the carbonized PN all laid down, and then spray Turfplex Nutrizolve and call it quits for the evening. And then we'll pick back up tomorrow and start doing the sand. All right, let's get going. <music> 